Hey friends, and thanks for stopping by my channel today. I'm Yoshida, and this is Norris Cove. You guys, I made a mistake, and I'm coming to rectify my mistake. I thought I had my planners planned out, and I decided to try the rings again, and it's been on and popping since. I've only been using two planners for the past three weeks, and I decided to share with you guys what I'm using. So I'm basically doing an updated planner lineup. So if you'd like to see what's in my new planner lineup, stay tuned. You guys, I've come to just make a <laughs> correct a mistake. So I did a planner lineup video, I believe the first of the year, maybe the end of December. And I had like 10, 11 planners. Okay, listen, this is what happened. <laughs> what happened was I had my Filofax. Um, I'm actually selling my Filofax. I don't have it in front of me. Oh, here it is. So I decided to give personal rings a try again. What happened was I actually started setting up this one, the A5. And I was like, you know, I like this. Um, I got my inserts. All the inserts are from cloth and paper. Um, dashboards, this dashboard I made. And then I made this dashboard. And this folder came with the planner. This pad, writing pad came in. So, yeah, I got to setting this up. And I was like, you know, I, I like this. Okay. And I was really at first scared to kind of like write in it. So um, I had the Filofax and I said, I'm going to give the Filofax another try. Um, as you know, I tried last year and um, I just got overwhelmed with buying stickers, 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 and what have you. So I didn't do anything but track my orders in here. So now the Filofax is just sitting. Um, I'm cleaning her up to be sold. And that's the end of her. And then I ordered the Moterm, and then the Moterm, oh my God, let me move this out the way. I love this planner. It is a personal uh, Moterm planner. I find that this works for me. It puts me in the mind of my B6 a little bit. Matter of fact, let me whip out my B6 to do a little comparison. So this is my B6. So my B6 is a little wider, but as far as height goes, they're about the same height. The B6, again, is just a little wider, but I like this because I can take it, you know, with me. Um, this is my B6 I used last year, and I stopped around fall time, September, and then I had gotten these, um, some inserts for it, and I plan to go back to it uh, sometime this year. Um, I was going to go, said I was going to come into my B6 in maybe the spring. I don't know. I just don't see that happening now. So right now my personal is like the perfect size. I can throw it in my purse. I was going to try pockets, but I'm just thinking pockets would be too small for me. I mean, I think pocket is maybe, that reminds me, I have a pocket. I'm going to show you that in a second and if I'm going to use it. So the personal has just been good to me. I'm just doing a real quick flip because you all have seen it. Um, the only thing different I've added since the last flip is this girl here I forgot I got from Shop LCA. And I was cleaning up my stickers and found her. And I said, oh, let me throw her in here. Um, but yeah, and I just, and I love, I just did a stories, but I love, oh, and that's new. I love daily planning. Like, it is everything to me. I just, uh, I don't think I could go. I enjoy daily planning at night and preparing for the next day. And I did a video on showing you guys how I daily plan. So I just love this planner. And the fact that it has a zipper here, I could put cash in here. Um, behind here, I have room for stickers. I've never seen a planner like this. So uh, when I started circulating, I was like, hmm, I didn't know if I was going to like that. But it just comes right on in handy. So 
I like her. She's simple to me. Um, for others, it might be a little janky, a lot going on. But to me, it's very simplified. Um, again, I can, I put, even though I have this business planner, which is in my lineup, um, even though I have this, but when I'm on the go, I have some things in here, uh, jot it down. Let me get to it. Like on my daily, see, I have uh, new flat lays, picks up new items. I still put planner, um, business stuff in there. Even my Etsy stuff, because if I'm on the go and I think I got time and I look at my schedule and I'm like, oh, no, you don't. You got to go home and do Etsy stuff or you got to go home and print some stickers. You got to go home and print some papers, whatever. So this holds everything. It even holds my finances and budget because um, because here I have my bills that I like, auto pay. I'm working on an insert um, for my Etsy shop. So I, I get to test those out in here. Um, my spending tracker, I'm able to keep my spending together. In my other planners I've had, well, I did have that in my B6 and my A5, but it's so simplified here. Um, here's another um, insert that I'm working on, a budget one. And as much budget stuff as I got in here, I have not been tuning into my budget. The only thing I do here lately has been writing down what I'm spending, but everything's in here. I can take notes. It pretty much has everything like my A5 TN had, um, but better. I don't know. I just can't describe it. And what I do like about it with the uh, TN, I had to take a whole insert out. With this, something that I didn't know when I had rings before was I can take this out. And that was one of the things that deterred me from rings before because I, I didn't want to keep pressing in and out. I really, at that time, didn't care to print um, <sighs> inserts, but I think it's because I didn't have the right inserts. I had to keep getting the same one, same one, same one. This one I can switch up, and I just learned about the slits. And honey, the slits is a game changer. That's one of the things why I went to Happy Planner was because I could tear the page out. But I was a little disappointed with Happy Planner because of the inserts. I could never find um, just a plain black and white insert. And then um, At Home with Quita came out with her inserts. And I was like, yeah, that's going to work. And then I got them and I used them and I loved them. But then that planner, I can't take with me. It was in the classic. I couldn't take it with me. So this is just every thing to me now i'm like should i go to an a6 um i've seen people carrying an a6 um should i get a b6 rings and then i'm like no this is just perfect i mean for right now i'll be a, a personal girl i really want to try pockets but i'm just too scared that i'm not going to like it and i'm gonna waste my money uh, but right now and she smells so good the leather smells good so let me i see i can talk go on and on about this planner <laughs> out of all but this one is my business planner she's only been outside once and that was to a meeting i went to and i enjoy taking this planner to a meeting because as you can see it's not a lot going on in here like here there's a few little stickers but um when i open it up it's just pen and paper and i'm loving my inserts from cloth and paper i actually need to order some more of these weekly ones and now I wish I would have got it dated, but I'm just glad I didn't because sometimes in my business planner, it's not a whole lot going on. But yeah, so I can't wait to show you guys a spread in this. That'll be coming up. Um, I can still do deco over here. Um, you know, I can put things in here. The only thing about this planner, it came from Target. Um, it was 35. Now looking at other planners, it was very reasonable. At first I kept saying, oh, that's too high for coming from Target. Um, I love this planner, but I have to take some things out. I have to downsize because, uh, matter of fact, I need to just take out some of these because I have plenty. It's not a lot of room, but I'm not ready to kind of go purchase another planner yet because this planner just serves its purpose. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I love this one. And this is an A5 and it stays home. I like that. Now, I could, like I said, take this out and I have, but it's really bulky and, you know, whatever, but... I love it for what it purpose it serves. This is also my social media planner. So that's why I've cut all those planners down because in here, 
uh, let me show you my January. And you'll see that in an upcoming video. I plan out my videos in here. They're color coded. Um, I can put the date there to do. If it's something like I had a meeting here, I can put my meetings. And again, this is my social media, my business planner, all that goes in here. It makes sense to me. And I just didn't need another planner for social media. I like I thought I did. You know, at first I thought I needed this stuff solely, but I found when I had a social media planner, I didn't go in it. Now, the one thing I do need to add to this is my stats, like tracking my stats. But to me, tracking my stats had, was becoming overwhelming because I would look at where I wasn't growing and it would just blow me, <laughs> you know what I mean? But even though I look at my stats almost every day, I could kind of tell you off the top of my head, my stats. And to me, to some people, that makes you go stronger and strive harder to get your stats up. But to me, it can put me in a depressive state. So if I don't have my stats in there, that's fine. I think I may just track them once a month. Like where I started out, let's say, I'm going to probably start in February. So on February the 1st, I'm going to track February the 1st, excuse me, I'm going to track my stats and then March and so forth going forward. And if I see like a pickup in it, because I look at them every day. So if I see a pickup in it, then I'll add it. So these two are in my planner bag. I have a video on my planner bag. I carry these two around the house, up and down the stairs. Uh, at night, I open these two up. I look at my monthly, I look at my weekly, and then I do my daily plans for the next day. And it's so enjoyable. I mean, I don't owe anyone an explanation. I don't. But I it feels good to me to plan like this. I mean, I don't know and I don't understand why I just didn't get it last year. I think I just didn't have the right ins inserts. I was new to planning and I was so overwhelmed by so much stuff in the planning community, such as stickers and um, just cute spreads and things like that. And I just think I was very confused and I wanted to try all the things. Um, I just celebrated my one year plan anniversary and it just hit me. <laughs> I, I forgot. I think I had a pop up come up on my uh, Facebook and it reminded me like, oh, I opened my shop like a year ago via my website. So I planned actually a couple of days, started planning a couple of days, maybe a week or so before that. So anyway, um, I now enjoy planning. It became, it came to the point where I didn't want to plan. I didn't want to lay stickers. I wasn't following the, the, you know, things I had in my planner. It was just there for cuteness and to do a video. And I have to be honest, I just didn't, it didn't make me feel good. It didn't bring me joy to the point where it became overwhelmed. And then I, when I shop, shut my shop down for a week to work on orders, you know, try to get some policies in the place, kind of figure out my Etsy and, you know, design my kits and stuff. You guys, it was like a sigh of relief. I was able to come back to planning. I was able to finish like plan, playing in these planners. And it let me like second guess, like, do I need an Etsy shop? Do I want an Etsy shop? But I love my Etsy shop. I do. So I will keep that. But um, I'll still be doing stickers because I have another planner, which I can stop talking about. These two I can get to. <laughs> but yeah, I I enjoy this. Um, there was times when I was in my stickers. I still, after a year, cannot lay a sticker straight to save my life. <laughs> Not a whole box sticker. As you can see, even in my budget planner, there are no, the, the stickers are still crooked. But with this, I don't, um, I just need a little deco and I don't even need that. And it's just so much functional for me. I feel good. I just cannot describe it, but I really feel good when I'm in this planner. I don't feel overwhelmed. I don't feel stressed. Um, I'll say this too. I love organizing stuff. I'll buy a bunch of organizing stuff and get nothing organized, okay? <laughs> I love organizing containers. I have so many. It's just kind of crazy. So I have a lot of clutter already in my life of organizing stuff, trying to organize stuff, trying to organize stuff, and it barely gets done. But this is like that part of my world, that part of my life that's not too cluttery. And I even almost every day, it's on my planner routine, which is back here somewhere, 
to clean out my planner monthly but i'm doing it almost every other day like okay this is too junky i need to get this out of here and i just believe when you declutter and bring some things down out of your life it goes over into other parts of your life so it's been helping me i feel more put together in this planner when i had all those other planners and after i did that video i said that is ridiculous like and i really after i did a video and i looked at the stack i was like I got to do all of that. Like, I got to get in all those planners every day. Okay, also, the last time I did my um, planner stack, um, I got a comment from one of my subbies, and she was like, you forgot your um, faith planner. And I'm like, I did, but I had planned to use my uh, happy planner, the small, the, uh, what is it, the mini planner? I can't remember, the mini planner. And that's because I, that worked for me as far as faith planning the last time. But now what I think I'm going to do is set up a faith section in here. And if not, I'm going to, because I really don't have that busy of a life. I think I'm going to do an insert similar to this and um, put in the scripture for the day and on the same page because I can. And I... <laughs> This is where I'm at. So I just don't need another planner for that. So I'll also be faith planning in here too. Now I haven't done any faith planning. Um, that's another thing. I've just been busy and I'm just like confused on what I want to um, faith plan. I follow Anika's faith planning. I want to try Miriam Martha's uh, faith planning. Um, there was another one that I was doing prior to Anika's. I can't remember it. I like that one. So I think each month I may try a different faith planner. Uh, faith planning. Uh, I may try Nika's one month. I may try Mary Martha's the next month. And then I may try the other one that I was doing before. So, or back and forth with Anika and Mary Martha. So, yeah, I'm going to be putting my scriptures in here. So, on these daily plans. See how I have this room here at night? That's where my scriptures going to go. I'm going to read them. I'm going to write them out and I'm going to read them. And that's how that's going to work. See all this room I have here? Scripture, scripture. So, my faith planning is in here as well. This thing just fits everything. So I just don't need all those other planners like I originally thought. Okay, ramble session over on those planners. Then this planner. This is my budget planner. Now, here's the thing with this. I love this planner. I love it for my budget. This is my January in here. Um, I like the stickers to plan for budgeting. And as you can see, I need to go in here and update stuff. I haven't done anything. I haven't updated it. Um, I didn't do anything as far as setting this up. Don't think I will because I just needed to do my budget. So um, with that being said, I'm going to still use this planner. I loved having the A5, the mini to plan in. But this stays home. And it's like my overview. I can come in here to add to here. So, I'll still be using that. So, I'm down to three. And if I find another one outside of this, that's what I'll use. So, that is my budget planner. And this is just like an over, overall view. I've kind of set up 20, I mean, March, you guys, because I was trying out the stickers and I need to take a pic. But I got to finish this off. So, that's what March is looking like. But, yeah, I... I'm going to continue to use this because this is what really got me on track with my budget and checking in. I look forward to coming to check in. So right now, these are the three. Hold on one second. So my life planner. I really wanted to use this. And this was the last spread that I did. As you can see, this is as far as I got. And that was the 14th. I just wasn't inspired to come in here. And as cute as the stickers are, I just was not inspired to get in here. It's just, I missed the week. This week, I actually liked. But again, I did nothing. I, I, I did like the first half of the week. And I was just kind of like pre-planning. But I never came back in here. Um, I, I'm just trying to find the words to explain how I feel about this planner. And it's not the planner. Let me say that. It's not the planner. Um, I think the planner is great because I like the fact that I can flip this over. I like that I got so much room and it is 
and what I was looking for, which was the black and white. And that's it. Now, besides those two spreads, I have my name on it, so I can't sell it. I can redate it, maybe save it for memory planning or something. But right now, I don't want a memory plan. I'm thinking about getting the uh, sprocket, and that way I can kind of memory plan in it. But um, right now, I, I don't have a use for it. I don't use it because even though this was like my catch-all, my everyday carry has been my everyday carry and catch-all at the same time. So still don't need it. So that was out. Now, when I did my planner lineup, I mentioned this little pocket TN that I gotten from uh, Michael's last year. And I look back at the spreads. Oh, let me let me start over. Not let me start over, but so I ordered another pocket TN. I was like, ah, this one was too hard. Um, they only had that one thing in here. I had to add more. And uh, so I got this pocket TN off of the buy sale trade group. It is a Foxy Fix. And the only thing I was gonna invest in some inserts. But I said, let me use what I got just to see if I'm going to use it. I haven't used it. Okay. This was going to be for um, my affirmations and possibly um, spiritual writing. So I may use that. Um, but I liked it. When I used it, I really liked it. That's why I put it in my planner lineup is because this is a spread idea from it. And I liked it because it was simple. And I looked back at it and I was like, well, I didn't continue to use this. I don't know. I stopped in May. So I really like it, but I wanted it to be thick. You know what I mean? So I was like, should I go on the uh, 1407 planners and order more inserts? Because I really want it to be thick. So as you can see, I've attempted to dress her up. And the person who sold it to me, they gave me these side pockets. And that was a thing too. I thought I was gonna have like, you know, a secretarial pocket. It didn't show an inside picture. I didn't think, I just knew I wanted a pocket to end. And this is what it's looking like. So I'm like, should I sell this? But I just got it. So like, should I sell it or should I just attempt to use it? So. I think this may be my um, affirmations and scripture writing. When I get into scripture writing, it just may be in here. Um, maybe instead of my planner, but I like to have that in that personal. That way I can see it every day and don't have to whip out something else. But this also can just be thrown in my purse, jot some notes or whatever. So um right now this is i'm on the fence about this one but i do like it like i said i just thought that there'd be more secretarial pockets i wanted her really really chunky like thick so i'd have to order some jump bands which i can make my own because it only came with one as well no it came with two no it came with one and she added this extra jump band she included it and uh, that's it so I don't know about this one. So I think this will be for scriptural writing. Um, once I do decide on what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start over in February with the scriptural writing. So you may see this from time to time. And I just made this fixer up as best as possible. Again, I don't need it to be um, too, too, you know, uh, busy. And then I think what I'm going to do, I can still do that because I can test out these grid pages and I don't really have to order any more um, pages. I can just take all these pages and make them into, um, you know, separate them by the dates. And I actually went back to Michael's looking for these inserts and I didn't see them. They don't even have these anymore. And so I can switch up and being that my theme is like kind of black and white, I now I kind of want to go back to this. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> But, um, yeah, so I think I'm just going to keep them. And like I said, this one, I do start scripture writing. This is what it'll be. So, instead of 10 planners, this is my new planner stack. Again, I won't start using this pocket TN until um, February. Um, I also thought about journaling in this as well. Um, because I live for a TN, at least I used to. So I think I'm going to do a little journaling and my scriptural writing in this. 
That way it won't drink up this one too much. And this is something that I can just throw in my pocket, um, pocketbook. And it also fits in my little planner bag. So here is where I am. And I still feel like this is too much, okay? I feel like I'm still doing too much. But here, and I also keep my budget in here too. So that way it's on me daily. I don't have to come home to do it and what have you. So my stack has decreased. And again, here we are. So let me know your thoughts, you guys. Like I said, I know I don't owe anyone an explanation, but I just want to come on and update you guys on what I've been loving. And I used, I, want, I didn't really want to do this video until I was for certain. And after using these two for a month, I was like, okay, it's official. And this one, <laughs> I, especially once I got the Motown, I'm like, I'm in love. That's it. So I've definitely found Plan of Peace. I just wished I would have found it sooner because I could have saved myself some money on stickers and all of that stuff. And even now, I'm still going to use my stickers. But that's it. So you guys... Give me your thoughts in the comments section. Um, have you updated your planner lineup? What is your new style of planning? Um, how are you liking your planning style? And I, you all, I've been planning this way, functional um, and decorative for a year now. And I just believe that it's going to change over time. And I love watching people whose planning style has changed. And what really made me feel better about changing because I was like, oh God, people are not going to like this. They're going to want to see a bunch of stickers and I'm just not feeling it right now. And what made me really feel good about it is I watched someone else and her story was like identical to mine, except for she wanted to do, get on the, I think it's Arlie Plans. Check her out. Um, she wanted to do um, Happy Planner Squad. And she was like, she's so glad she didn't make the squad because her style changed and she was only kind of doing the decorative stickers you know for others to please others and that's a horrible feeling i know i felt it before and that's where i was i was just like i'm just doing these spreads because everybody else is doing them and you know i want to be decorative and i like i said i'm just not that creative when it comes to laying those stickers but i'm and it's giving me an opportunity to like write in my planner and doodle and one of my goals this year was to learn lettering so I'm going to start working on that so that I can just do a nice creative spread in my planners. So, again, in the comments section, I'm not going to ramble because I feel like I'm on a ramble sesh. But um, just let me know your thoughts. Um, please leave me some feedback. I love that. And, again, let me know what your planner lineup is looking like. And I'm pleased with my planner lineup right now. I may come to you in six months and be like, okay... I'm down to two or one. But right now, I'm feeling very confident in this will take me through the year and maybe more. So, again, thank you guys so much for coming by. I appreciate it. If you're new, you enjoyed today's video, and you love to check out some of my content and new comment content coming, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in my next video.